Alert Marit Project and working collaboratively with the Wurundjeri Woiwurrung uh, communities and all Aboriginal communities to realise the vision um, of this space. So we'll support um, these groups to establish community and health, uh, sporting education and cultural and open space facilities for Wurundjeri Woiwurrung and the broader Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal communities in the cities of Marybeth and Hume. Of course, we're right near the Hume um, border here in Glenroy. And so to this end, um, we are requesting that the state government transfer the title of the Balert Marut site to the Wurundjeri Woiwurrung Cultural Heritage Aboriginal Corporation. It's currently the state government that own this land. And so we've worked as a council quite extensively with community members um, and the corporation to prepare a feasibility study that defines our community's expectations and opportunities for the site's future. And this dog is agreeing that we do need to transfer the <laughs> <laughs> um, So, you know, we've begun positive engagement with the Glenroy Specialist School and the Wilwilbrook Preschool, um, who are the neighbours and very important neighbours of this site. Now, I guess the sticking point is that the certainty around the future land tenure of this site is now critical. And that's because council has held a lease on the site since 2013, and we now sublease the land. But the issue is that this lease arrangement, it ends in October of next year. So transferring the title of the Balert Marut site to traditional owners, it would further also demonstrate the state government's commitment towards self-determination and treaty and reconciliation and reparations as well. It would provide a, I guess, a symbol um, and it would provide certainty and stability um, and be a powerful symbol for the state's commitment to righting the wrongs of the past and the wrongs that are still ongoing in this state and this country.